Hello everyone. Today we will talk about contemporary technologies, its types, and my most preferred contemporary educational technologies for online classes. We're all aware that in today's situation, it's not safe to stay outside to have face-to-face -face classes due to the emergence of COVID-19. I'm making this video to help educational institutions, teachers, and students to be aware about the best possible contemporary educational technologies that they can use to cope with the demands of education through online learning. First, let us know what is contemporary technology. The word contemporary came from the Latin word con, which means with or together, and temporarius, which means of time, or if we combine together with time. Or to make it simple, just remember its synonyms such as modern or present day. Next is the word technology, which came from two Greek words techne which means art, craft, or skill, and the other word, which is logos, that means study. Or if we combine, it will form application of art, or knowledge, or skill. But if we're going to combine the word contemporary technology, this may refer to the modern technologies or tools used in different fields to ease up works or tasks. But the focus of this video are the technologies used in education. Here are some general examples of contemporary technologies in education in the 21st century. This includes deep classroom, massive open online course or MOOC, social media, serious educational games, wiki, learning analytics, and lastly, which is my most preferred of all, the innovative educational software tools. So I'll be sharing two innovative educational technologies that we often use to conduct online learning. So these apps or softwares are Edmodo and Blackboard. Let us first know what are those innovative tools by describing it and knowing its characteristics. Let's start with the first one, which is the Edmodo. Basically, it is a classroom and a school messaging tool. Edmodo gives teachers the tools to share engaging lessons, modules, tasks, or even exams. It keeps the parents updated and it builds a vibrant classroom community. Using this app, students and teachers can communicate directly by sending real-time messages. With Edmodo, Teachers can reach every student in class. The students can log in and participate from any phone, tablet, or computer. Teachers can facilitate discussions through checking students individually by direct messages. Through this app, teachers can help students stay organized with an automatically updated planner. Now that we know its characteristics, I will now be showing you how to use this software in your computer. You can also see directly to this video the characteristics of the app that has been discussed a while ago. I want to share our first innovative technology. You step here, this on your browser, the model. Wait for a second, just click this one in model. You can just exit this one. For a minute, and you'll be redirected to the Edmodo page. You can just re sign up, log in if you already have an account. Since I already have an account, let's just this, make this pre sign out as the student account. But for me, I already have a Google account. I'll just click this, sign up in Google. If you already have an account, you can just easily sign in. By just clicking your Google account, just click it and just click that allow button, and you'll be redirected. Just enter, enter your password. I'll just be entering my password. Okay. So, we've already logged in to my Edmodo account. Let's just take this. 
one all this thing this never and here we're already in my end mode account and as you can see you can see my subject facilitating learner my advisor here or my instructor you can see notifications they posted notifications here here you can see this looks like very much like facebook you can see this home classes you can see your subjects or yeah subject course facilitating being learner PD123 planner you can see here backpack but it's actually empty for me discover if you want to discover something you can just click videos here if you want to how much is this you can also see here messages if there is one but in my case there is no messages here you can see you can see my profile here let's go back to home button it's very much like facebook actually you can just see here files that's been uploaded by our instructor you can just easy to click this one file i will be showing you it's very easy to use guys just by clicking that you'll be redirected to the other page let's wait for a second continue let's just click the continue button wait for a minute and that's it you'll you can now see the content of that module you can just browse here you can just read all the contents of that module just click the x button very much like facebook as you can see there's a like button um, like button comment and add or the planner so yeah we've already explored this with modo you can just ex so now that we're done with modo let us know the second innovative educational tool which is the blackboard this app or software offers a delightful modern learning experience. Blackboard helps the students stay informed, up to date, and connected. Blackboard also includes Blackboard Collaborate with Ultra Experience. It is a synchronous web conferencing solution for high quality virtual classes and meetings. With Blackboard, you can Quickly view updates to your courses and content, take assignments and tests, view marks for course assignments and tests, and lastly, participate in collaborative sessions on the go. Now that we know its characteristics, I'll be now showing you how to use it on your computer. I will demonstrate it for you to see its features and its characteristics that I have shared to you a while ago. Let's search for blackboard.com. Here, as you can see, this is where we conduct online classes. Let's just enter our username, which is 17016, and my password. Wait, and let's sign it. This is the USD Blackboard Ultra. This is where we conduct our online class in Letran, Manawag. So let's just wait for a minute. So as you can see, this is the link. This is the blackboard. You can see, you can see here my account. Account information, password, email. ID number activities you can see the activity stream or what happened during the past days activities here past activities are being posted here here you can see courses or my list of subjects that I have enrolled in Letran Manawam I have actually nine subjects here you can see so many subjects, organizations, or yeah, 
calendar. You can see here the due dates. About what are the needs to be done activities. Here day month. Yeah, messages. You can also see here the messages. But as you can see there's no messages actually. Zero messages. So we don't have that. You can also see here your grades. If you already finished your course, it will appear here. You can see your final grade in that particular subject or or subject course. Your teacher will definitely give you your grade and tools section. Yeah, here content collection, portfolios, goals, co performance, application, and authorization, etc. So let us go back to courses. I will just show you some things here. Let's open one subject for the course. So here's one of my subject course. Let me just show you. I will just show you. Demonstrate to the content of this. Let's click this future classroom. See here, it's loading. But just by clicking it, it will redirect you to YouTube that has been shared by your advisor or yeah, instructor. But we are going to exit that. I'm just showing you files here. Let's just click this best technologies to access the document. And just click these three dots here. Download the original file. And let's just wait for a minute. And it will sound like automatically download the PDF. And let's just wait here. And that's it. You can already see all the content of that PDF that has been shared by your instructor or advisor. So let's just exit that one, exit that one, and next one I will show you how to enjoy using the Blackboard Collaborate to join the session or the video chat, ready to conduct a video chat. Just click this join course room, you will be redirected to another page. Let's just wait for a minute. Just wait. Let's just fast forward this one. So yeah, we're here. Let's exit one. Just click that X. So we're already here. As you can see, you can share audio, raise hand. You can also chat here. Find chat. You can see here, you can find someone to chat here, you can see the participant, but for now I'm the only one participant here, obviously. So you can also see your settings, whatever. So you just click everyone and just you can just say something. Let's say hello everyone. <laughs> so in up stuff. So let's just erase that. Let's click that X. And that's it. I just showed you the course room. Blackboard collaborate. So as you can see roster. It's already the content of that this Blackboard Ultra roster. You can see here your classmates actually here. You can just exit that one. Your attendance, you can see your attendance here, books, tools, etc. Let's just put that into X. So let's go back to the main the main page. Let's just exit that one. We already explored the UST that blackboard that classroom where we conduct our online class. That's all I'm gonna share for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.